Today we want to talk about some of the changes uh, that we've made to the Steiger Road Track. Over five years ago we launched the Steiger Road Track uh, to be used in row crop applications, post-emergence work, and so over the course of the last five years made several improvements to the undercarriage design for the roller wheels and, and also to the track technology. We want to take a little time today just to point some of these differences out. Uh, and, and really what we were trying to get with some of these differences is how can we get uh, a, a full speed capability on a narrow track. Uh, so some of what we did when we launched the road track then is we gave, uh, we, we used a lot of the premise of our quad track uh, tractors uh, with regard to the undercarriage, its alignment process, a lot of the principles that have made that tractor what it is. Uh, and in that process then, we actually, because we had a narrower track with a narrower uh, drive lug profile, we had to get more drive lugs engaged within the drive wheel. So in, 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 what we came up with was a larger diameter drive wheel. So we've got more positive lug, lug engagement, okay? Uh, so that's one of the biggest uh, things that we can see changed between the quad track and what we're standing in front of today is the road track. Now, because this was one of the first road tracks uh, uh, that, that we built, uh, there's some changes that we've made with the new one. So I want to point out some of the old uh, uh, original design uh, that we had into this road track. Uh, so uh, this would be the pivot area, okay, the pivot area. And we talk about the uh, undercarriage and its ability to pivot 10 degrees, both forward and rearward. And so uh, this is really where we're doing that pivoting action. So I want to point this out because what we'll see on the model year uh, or, or on the newer road track versions uh, is an enhanced pivot area. A couple other things that we've done. Uh, most recently, um, uh, I, I should start by saying what we've done in the past here is we had a rubber coating on these roller wheels, okay? We've used rubber on the idler wheels as well. And obviously what's wrapped around this undercarriage is a rubber track, okay? So uh, as we start looking at a better capable, uh, a higher speed capable narrow track, uh, we started finding that there's some fundamentals and in, in, in as it relates to the compounding of rubber, uh, both here, uh, use of synthetic rubber down here, which gets vulcanized onto the roller wheel itself. Uh, and, and we found that uh, any uh, system, any rubber track system is going to generate heat, okay? We call that hysteresis heating. Uh, it's through the expansion and contraction cycles of the rubber. So what we found here recently and, and, and done extensive work to, to develop uh, is an enhanced undercarriage system, okay? Uh, so we pointed out a lot of things about uh, uh, the, the uh, original system. Now let's take a look over at what we've done on the new system. We are now standing in front of a current model, a 2019 uh, road track tractor, uh, and just following some of the differences that we've made or iteration of changes that we've made in the last five years, uh, we really wanted to try to get a full speed capable uh, narrow track. Uh, we wanted to get longer life out of the track system in general. As it relates to that then, uh, some of the bigger changes that we want to make uh, a, a point of uh, today is the actual roller wheels, okay? The material that's used or incorporated of the roller wheels today is actually a polyurethane material. Polyurethane does dissipate heat a lot better than, uh, than, than the rubber that it's coming in contact with. Therefore, in the general system, in general terms, we would uh, dissipate heat better, okay? Uh, so that's an important uh, thing to point out when it comes to these roller wheels. The other big improvement that we've made at the same time is going to a bolt-on style roller wheel, okay? So there's a hub and now the wheel is separate from that and bolts on separately. So we start looking at service and maintenance and, 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 and cost and time significantly reduced as a result. In addition to some of the other changes with regard to the polyurethane coating on the roller wheels, the bolt-on style roller wheel, I would also like to point out that the seal technology has changed greatly within uh, the idler in roller wheels. To the extent that uh, we are leading the industry in, in, in the face seal technology uh, as it exists today. Uh, much longer service life of that seal, uh, something we moved to um, uh, in, in 2015 with these tractors. The other uh, thing that I would like to point out, as we went to a poly material on, on the roller wheels, we found too that from a compounding uh, perspective within the track itself, we refer to this as the wheel path, okay, uh, on the inside of the track. We call it the wheel path because that's what's coming in contact with the idlers in the roller wheels. 
So we found then that if we're going to go to this harder poly material on the roller wheels themselves, that we also need to be compounding because again, it's a system. We need to be compounding this rubber track uh, uh, for the uh, different operating environments that it sees. That means then that what we've got today is really a poly-friendly track. Okay, there's a poly-friendly durometer and compound of rubber in here because it's going to be in contact with the polyurethane rollers uh, uh, as, it, as it moves through the field and down the road.